I'm Nikki from Roller Skate Revival, and today I'm super excited that we're going to do one of my favorite things to do, which is hydro dipping. You ground the skates and I'll ground the tools. Let's go rolling around like a couple of fools. Don't care if we're old, let's start something new. Let's be go rolling around me and you. So if you see over here, this is basically like <laughs> my hydro dip table so far. What I have here is a lot of stuff I've already hydro dipped, like these super wide trucks or the trucks that I use on my flaneurs or the plates that came off of my friend's rookie skate after her boot fell apart. She just gave it to me. So I just tossed it on some vans. Actually, they're not vans there. They're vamp off the wind, they're knockoffs. <laughs> um, or it's probably too dark for you to see, but the roll lines that I did recently. And then today's project, already primed away. I have covered all of the metal parts that I don't want to paint or I don't want to rust with masking tape. Uh, so for example, the kingpin, I put a dance plug inside the toe stop part and I covered all of these with masking tape. They might get a little bit rusty anyway, but that's fine. I can just get rid of it with the uh, vinegar. So all you need is paints, a bucket. You don't mind getting disgusting. And it has to be deep enough so that you can fully submerge the thing that you are going to hydro dip. A mask is highly recommended because this is some really toxic fumes and some gloves. What I'd like to do lots of times is I'll do like a bit of an even coat and then I'll do something kind of like irregular squirts to make some, some circles. And then I'll use another color to break up those circles. Um, so that it gets kind of like a marbled effect. As you see, there's like several layers of like yellow and red and even like an orange because I broke up the the, the yellow with the or with the red, kind of like splitting it apart, and then I split that apart with some more yellow. So now it's like a cool marble marbled effect. You may have noticed while I, what I was doing was I was lowering the trucks and the plates really slowly into the, uh, into the, 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 the paint and water. Um, and sometimes I would even move them around a little bit to kind of cover the part that needed to be covered. And sometimes I even pick it up and move it, but that's a little bit dicey. You know, sometimes it works and sometimes you just end up destroying the, the really delicate like paint configuration. So, you know, um, and this is actually the next part is a really hard part, which is don't touch it. Uh, just leave it to dry. You know, you might be like, especially if it turns out well, you're going to want to pick it up and like take pictures of it. I really like this one. Um, but just leave it alone. <laughs> uh, and tomorrow what I'm going to do is cover it with a couple coats of like a, of just a sealant. Um, a, to protect it and B, also to give it like a glossy finish. Good morning. It is the next day. Uh, I am painting sealant, covering sealant on my 
hydro dip plates and trucks just like every 20 minutes or so I give them another coat. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Um, I really like this side a lot. And so later I'm going to take off the tape and take off everything I'm using, you know, like to protect it, like the uh, dance plugs. I filled in the pivot cups with Vaseline, so I'm going to clean that out and I can't wait to uncover them. Just kidding, I didn't actually have it yet. <laughs> but uh, here is the finished plate and trucks, and I think they looked pretty good. Um, the things I would have done differently is I, I originally thought I was going to do maybe yellow, white, and black, so that's why I did the base coat of white. And then the first one I did was kind of boring, so I went for the yellow and the red instead, which it has like a flame-like thing, which I think is really cool. But since I did a base coat of white, you can see some points where it's just kind of naked, which is exactly what I was trying to avoid, but I mean, whatever, it's, it never looks perfect. <laughs> so, but it, I mean, it does actually, you know, I'm usually really critical of what I do, but I think this looks pretty good. And then the other one, it's like this. Again, not perfect, so there's like chips, a couple chips and things, but overall I really like how the flame-like orange and, orange and uh, yellow and red thing turned out. So, I mean, that's it, that's hydro dipping. Um, if I helped you and you make some hydro dip trucks or plates or whatever, then please tag me on Instagram at Roller Skate Revival so I can take a look. You ground the skin.